everyone. We are now in hotel quarantine in Sydney. We just made it back to Australia. And I thought it would be fun for Ayla to try some Australian snacks. She has been lucky enough to try some things that my family have sent to me over the past year or so that we've been in Canada. But there's a lot of things that I really love uh, that I think are quintessential Australian and you can't find it in Canada. Uh, now these are just things that I grew up with. If there's anything else that you think that Ayla should try, uh, comment it down below and we'll try that next time. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. All right, so let's get into this. You can pick the first thing. I get a pick? to start with, yeah. I've heard a lot about cherry ripe, so I'm actually pretty excited <laughs> to try this. Cherry ripe is one of my absolute favorites. I'm not entirely sure that she's gonna like it, but I love it. It's very similar to like a North American Big Turk initially and then I noticed there's a, a lot of coconut mm. honestly this is pretty good mm. it is you are right it is sort of the flavor of a big turk it initially has that like big turk sweet juicy punch but then the coconut like flakes really take over I'm not a big fan of coconut so I don't know if I'd go for cherry ripe all the time if you're gonna give it a rating out of 10 what does a cherry ripe get? I'd give it an eight. I'm happy with that. Yeah, if if ten's like an all the time, I'm I'm grabbing it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be an eight. Now I'm gonna pick the next one. So the next one I'm gonna pick is fantails. So the fun thing with um, fantails is it has a um, a who am I on the outside. Who am I? Named after Renaissance artists and trained in ninjutsu, these four characters fight against evils in the society. Oh, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Exactly. <laughs> now these look a lot smaller than I remember them, but this is a fantail. Yeah, there's really no good. Mm -mm. The flavors are all right. To be fair, they taste very different to what I even remember. It almost tastes like cereal. Cereal? Okay. I'll need my water. Yeah. Is it okay if I just... Yeah. <laughs> Fantails. Out of 10. Not being able to chew immediately takes it down. The flavor's not terrible though, so I'd maybe give it a 5 or a 6. Fair. Um, I feel like this is something I loved when I was a kid. Not so much anymore. Part of me really wants to go to the milk bar. Milky bar? Because if it's white chocolate, I am a huge fanatic of white so, chocolate. So, as a kid, milky bar was one of my favorite things. So, I thought we had to try it. Off we go. What do you think? I love this. Overall, it is pretty well the white chocolate in cookies and cream yeah, from back home. Exactly. And I love cookies and cream. It's actually one of my favorite chocolate bars. That's oh. probably another eight. All right, another eight. All right, I'm gonna change the pace here. So my favorite is cheese and onion chips. Now, this is gonna be a real treat for me too because I haven't had cheese and onion chips in years and I absolutely love them so much. Smell. Yeah, that smells good. Yum. <laughs> that onion flavor is like amazing. So good. Yeah, I'd murk a bag of these in a minute. <laughs> yeah. These ones are honestly my favorite, my go-to every time. Yeah, I'm all about it. Yeah. For a one to 10 on the chip. Oh yeah, one to 10 on the chip. One to 10 on the chip, that's a 10. <laughs> that's a 10, we're picking those up. 
I'm gonna go with Musk Lifesavers. <laughs> now this is something that terrifies so many people overseas because I think at least Musk used to come from like somewhere yeah, that you don't wanna know. <laughs> it's the anal gland of a deer. Yeah. I don't like musk sticks, which a lot of kids grow up with musk sticks. Um, I don't love the texture of musk sticks, but I do love some musk like hard candy, like lifesavers, or if you go to Darley, you get little mini ones, but she's gonna try it. It does almost smell like Turkish Delight. Yeah, because it does have that floral smell. It kind of tastes like a Turkish Delight. Honestly, I'm into this. Yeah. I when really I, like it. When I first heard about this, I was not expecting to like it at all, but honestly, this is this is good. I'd say this is about an 8 or a 9. Nice. This is a caramel, but I guess I'll go for it. <laughs> Called It's chomp. not normal caramel. Hmm. Not the texture you expected it. <laughs> It's like a tiny little, like a tiny Mr. Big. No. Yeah, I love Mr. Big. I don't. Now, the caramel isn't as sweet as a Mr. Big, but by and large, it's like a very soft wafer with caramel and chocolate. Very similar in terms of like the idea of it, 100%, but I think the sweetness just takes over too much for me on a big, on a Mr. Mr. Big. Big. Yeah, honestly, I would say that's about a nine. Nine or a ten. Nice. Uh, now, Ayla has tried shapes before. She's tried the new uh, Vegemite cheese ones, and she's had pizza shapes. But these are my favorite, and Ayla loves things that are flavored bacon. So I'm expecting that she'll love these. <laughs> she's taken a handful of these. Yeah, right? I'm already expecting a ten. Mmm. So good. This is possibly one of the closest bacon simulate, simulated flavors that I've ever come across that tastes like quite authentic. That tastes like bacon. Yeah. Nothing can beat these. They're so good. Very cheesy. So. Chewy chocolate flavored jelly babies. I think we gotta <laughs> go with the cheeky side. <laughs> I've never had chocolate jelly. <laughs> so, um, I love these. My mum and I go nuts over these. Cheekies, which is chocolate flavored jelly babies. This is not something that everybody likes in Australia. This is something that a lot of people would be like, why do you like those? I love them. It kind of smells like a Tootsie Roll. Mm. I love Tootsie Rolls, so this could No, why? <laughs> I no. love them. Oh my god, no. <laughs> More for me. What the heck? Who who decided this? That that's rated a solid zero. The natural confectionery gummies. I went with snakes because that's what I saw first. She just wants to show off her not tying abilities. No. The yellow ones are my favorite. What would you expect the yellow to be? Like if you're going to a gummy packet? If you're looking in a gummy packet in North America, I'd say lemon, but I'm hoping they're gonna be banana. They are banana. I'm gonna get a banana one too. Are these ones good to, um, oh wow, it smells like banana. Yeah. Are these ones that you could tie in a nut? Yeah. You gotta show them. <laughs> I've tried multiple times, I just... I broke it. <laughs> Ta-da! I don't know how, I'm just always baffled.
How could I not pick these? Uh, honey soy chicken flavored chippies. All right. Anything to say about these? They're amazing. Everyone loves these ones. Is Red Rock Deli a particularly nice brand? Red Rock Deli does uh, more like kettle style chips, so they're crunchy. Nice. Um, <laughs> she takes another handful of these ones. Wow. Yeah. What a punch. Immediately, I would not expect out of honey, soy, and chicken to taste the honey, but the first flavor I get is an aromatic flavor. So before the tongue even, or like the chip even hits the tongue, I can taste the aroma of honey. And then even still while the tongue hits the chip, it's that sweet honey flavor before it melts right into the savory umami yeah. of soy. I'm absolutely blown away. Aren't they good? This is a good chip. Rating? Uh, 16. <laughs> we have two chocolates left. Let's go with the boost. That's a good chocolate bar. Uh, I'm very perplexed at where the crunch is coming from. When you bite into it, you have like the hard chocolate exterior, caramel film just on the inside of it, and then what almost looks like just creamy chocolate in the middle. So I'm guessing there's like Rice Krispies yeah. thrown so in and amongst that cream. If you pull out this little guy, this is a little Rice crispy. I see. Yeah, no, I was not expecting that crunch, but that was good. Maybe a nine. Yeah. That, that's a half decent chocolate bar. I thought you would like this one. Okay. Last, but definitely not least in my books, is the Honey Nougat Log. Honey Nougat? Nougat. It's Nougat. <laughs> it's Nougat. It, it has a T right on it. It's a silent T. <laughs> Since when is the T on nougat? Because you say it wrong. It's nougat. It's nougat. <laughs> <laughs> we will agree to disagree <laughs> on that one. Maybe a little tougher in center, may not. Oh. See, it's not. Some days it is, some days it's not. What do you think? I like the chocolate. And I like the honey. The honey is very prominent and sweet, but I think it's the roasted peanut flavor mm -hmm. that's really taking it back for me. I'm, I'm not a fan of the peanut flavor being in there. Fair enough. It's really quite nice. I really like the honey flavor and the chocolate is very inconspicuous in there. Yeah. Um, but I, I wish I could just like savor that honey flavor a bit more. Okay, so. Pick your favorites. Favorites. Um, for chips, hands down, it's got to be the honey, honey soy chicken. chicken. Honestly, I'm going to say that the Musk Lifesavers really are uh, <laughs> a winner for me. Cool. Partly because I'm so shocked. I was honestly going into this going to be like, this is going to be putrid. <laughs> And these were really, really nice. And then I guess, boost. And your least favorite of everything. Uh, least favorite are definitely the cheekies. <laughs> so that was Ayla trying some Australian snacks. Uh, as I said earlier, if there's any that you think that she should try and you'd like her to try on camera, then leave those comments down below and we will work that out. In fact, if you have like any like Aussie dishes, um, yeah. obviously like Kira and I are gonna like have meat pies and kebabs and all the rest of it. But if there's any traditional Aussie dishes that you really think that I should look into or try, uh, please let us know because I am all about trying new things. Yeah. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe, like, and bell notification down below. And. 
we'll see you back in hotel quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.